old DMX backdrop. Enter Iron Mike Tyson. You know he's had a huge embrace for mixed martial arts. I didn't think we'd see him compete in this setting. Hope he's been working on his takedown defense. Yeah, he's going to need it. Iron Mike's going to need to be able to stay upright if he wants to give himself a chance. But if he's on his feet every second of the fight, Mike Tyson has the ability to knock you out. Imagine a guy that can put you out with 10-ounce gloves landing with 4-ounce gloves in the UFC octagon. Mike is fast, Mike has great setups, and Mike has a meanness about him that not many others have. You better be careful fighting Iron Mike Tyson. He is ferocious, and seemingly the speed and power are still there at his advanced age. Mike Tyson trying to make headway here in the UFC tonight. Born in Louisville, Kentucky back in 1942 as Cassius Clay. Here is Muhammad Ali, no denying the hands. He says he's worked pretty hard on his takedown defense coming into the UFC today. Well, he's going to have to. He's the greatest boxer of all time. And there won't be just boxing that will allow for him to find success inside the UFC. But if you know Cassius Clay, if you know Muhammad Ali, you know he's the most fearless competitor that you can find. He's a tremendous boxer. Now it's time to see what he can do inside the UFC's octagon. And he's got a lot of size, he's got a lot of length. People really enjoyed the visual on the scale here on Friday. Muhammad Ali taking his greatness to the octagon here tonight. We'll see how it goes. Muhammad Ali. We are set for our main event of the evening. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Iron Mike Tyson. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Herbert Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, this matchup of combat sports legends is underway. Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson. And for Cassius Clay, of course, the thriller in Manila, the rumble in the jungle. Let us see what type of history he can make tonight against him. Play shot there, DC. He is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Oh, my goodness. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. What a fight. Both of these guys are trying to finish. Seat action right out of the shoot. These dudes are trading very early in this fight. This is good. This is a great fight. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but there's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect it. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water. That was a I mean, blood in the water. You got to go and finish. You got to go find the finish. 
you cannot let him off the hook like that because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting. Oh, Under a minute now to go in the opening round. Tyson's eye appears to be closing up by the second. Right here, final seconds of round one. He passes the half guard. Inside the uh, close guard uh, now. Uh, uh, I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Anybody away. This round, let's go back to the same game plan. I want you to stay All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Do Second it. round underway. All right, so after one of the more entertaining... Right there, his opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Well, let's see if he goes to set up. <laughs> Circling to his right. Here. We might get a stoppage here soon. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighters than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestling stand-up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. Plenty of time to go here, round two. Oh, oh big elbow. Oh, he's got his back. Thought about a joke and Steph flattens him out. And now he's got a lot of options offensively, champ. Yeah, he's got all the options available to him. Now he just has to get all that hip pressure into his opponent's back and just start raining down ground and pound. And if you're the bottom fighter, better start intelligently defending yourself Good work from the top here by Tyson. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this round. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh! Well, he 
He's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his crowd. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. 15 seconds. Ali's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Round three next. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, nice jab by Tyson. Big right hook coming. It's oh, Back to the feet now. Nice punch there. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Big power shot there. Tyson's bleeding from the mouth. Daniel looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. <laughs> The official decision is in. Here is the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 28 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad.